Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow.com. PetFlow.com is the leader in pet food delivery services, offering food and pet supplies from hundreds of leading pet brands. It's the peak of summer, and taking your dog or your puppy with you to the beach or the pool can be a great way to make life fun for both you and your dog. It's also a great way to exercise them and build their confidence. Most dogs are not comfortable with immediately just jumping in the water the first time they see it. Today, I'm gonna to show you the steps you need to take in order to get your dog comfortable with swimming. Does your dog like to swim? Tell me in the comments below. Also, like me on Facebook. Facebook to become a greater part of our community. And if you believe in the power and importance of positive training and think that needs to be front and center in the dog training world, consider making a small contribution to our Patreon campaign. I'll have a link in the description. Click thumbs up for another dog training video. Now let's go meet Josh and June. Josh, how old is June? June is 11 to 12 weeks. We got her from a high coast shelter in Colorado. That What's kind the name of, of the group? Lifeline Puppy Rescue. Awesome. It's a, a, a great organization, a nonprofit. Props to you for rescuing a dog. Best dogs in the world are rescue dogs. I've always wanted a dog since I was five, and I found this little girl. Just came right up to us, jumped on us, started licking, playing. I actually almost left because I was like, I just, I don't know. And me and my girlfriend are sitting in the car and she's like, are you sure you wanna leave? And I was just like, cause I couldn't leave. Like I couldn't start the car. And she's like, you gotta turn around and go get her. I was like, okay. So after about 10, <laughs> after, about, yeah, yep. after about 10 minutes of talking, pros and cons about having her, um, we turned around, went in, signed the papers. Sounds like she's a really good match for you too. Cause she's kind of active, you're active. She's very friendly. When we walk down the street, it's me having to kind of hold her back from meeting everybody all shapes and sizes, all ages. What are you hoping to get out of having a dog? A best friend, someone who is always gonna be there no matter what I do. Does June show any interest in really having a desire to go swimming? She does. Um, she's still a little wary of the pool, I think, and water. She looks like she's gonna be comfortable. She needs that extra push. I want her to be comfortable for maybe dock diving in the future, or if it's the morning and I'm a little tired, I can bring her to a lake throw a ball, she can get it, bring it back a few times, and then that's a great morning exercise. Tell me about it. That's how you living here in the South, it gets really, really hot. There are a few benefits to teaching your dog to swim, especially when they're young. The obvious is it keeps them cool while they're exercising, but with puppies, we wanna be really careful not to over-exercise them because they're still growing and developing, and swimming can be a nice low-impact way right. for them to get to get used to that. When teaching your dog to swim, you can never be too careful. Most dogs are pretty nervous the first time they encounter a big body of water, and understandably so, right? right? Why don't you show me what June has done so far, some of the things you've taught her. June, sit. Looks like she's going straight into a down, so you must have taught her down. That's a very normal phase you have to go through with your dog. Oftentimes they'll anticipate. That's normal, all dogs do that. Be encouraged, not discouraged. Any compliance at all is a good thing and should be celebrated. I'd like to see that she can come to you on land before we ask her to come to you in the water. So I'm gonna hold her over here. I'm gonna distract her a little bit, see how she does. And whenever you're ready, just go ahead and call her. June, June. June, come here. Yeah, come here, there June. you go, good. Oh, nice work. Good. We wanna do everything we can to reduce any of that preliminary anxiety that she's likely to experience. So the first thing I'd like to do is get her comfortable with this life vest right here. This is an outward hound life vest. So if she does start to get nervous or has any anxiety, she at least has this vest on so that she has some support. You can actually get this vest at petflow.com slash Zach George. And while you're there, consider signing up for automatic recurring pet food delivery. That way you never have to think about getting your dog food again uh, and you can set those increments up based on your dog and your needs every two weeks every month whatever you want to do you can also get everything you need for your dog there including supplies training treats other accessories as well and peplo.com has been kind enough to offer 15 percent off to viewers of the dog training revolution just enter code zach george 15 when you check out and you'll get free shipping on all orders over 49 dollars after all discounts are applied now i'm thinking we need to put this on june and get her comfortable with it josh you might notice that this life vest has a handle on it so you can easily uh, pick her up. Why don't you give that a shot? So okay. she's, she, yeah. looks, <laughs> oh, she looks pretty content. She, looks, she, she does. <laughs> she does. I think it's a good idea to let her just kind of run around with it and make her forget about the fact that it's on. It should go without saying, but the last thing you want to do is just throw your dog into the water. You want to really ease them into it and be super patient with them. Uh, you ready to get started on training? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Let's go. Josh is going to get in the pool. We're going to see if we can encourage June to come in the pool. I would love to join them, but my audio equipment might get destroyed. You may need to take a few days to get them interested in the water and really get them comfortable with it. It can be a pretty strange experience to go swimming for the first time if you're a puppy, I would imagine anyway. 
priority number one is to get or keep your dog in a good mood. If possible, try getting your dog to play with you around the pool so that they know that this is a fun place to be. It's important that you have something to really motivate your dog to get in the pool. If your dog is receptive to a squeaky toy or any type of toy, I would encourage you to use that first before encouraging them with food. But some dogs are really not as motivated by that. So there's nothing wrong with using food. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Kind of slap her around with the toy, play with her a little bit. Yeah. Our goal is to make our dog want to swim, not just get him in the water for the sake of swimming. If you notice that your dog starts to get increasingly nervous, either take a break or find a way to put them at ease. Now, I suspected that June might be a little bit more comfortable if we could make her feel a bit safer. And you can see there's a little anxiety on her part, but she's considering it. You can tell, like her tail's wagging. And she's... Now, what do you think she's saying right there? I think she wants to swim in. She yeah. doesn't exactly know how yet. This first step is only a few inches, so if she's comfortable with it, I'd like to see if we can put her on this first step right here and then maybe it might make it easier so it's not so daunting to just jump straight down into something. We want to immediately get that positive association if possible. My preference may have been to take June out of the pool here after she fell, but I could tell that Josh saw that she was receptive to listening, so it made sense to let this play out a little bit longer. Sometimes you just have to let a person connect with their dog. That's good. Oh, what? Look at this! Look at this! No. And then give her some support. Go ahead and put her out to let her know that she can get out. The point of that is just so she doesn't freak out immediately. A lot of dogs will be like, oh my gosh, how do I get out of here? And look, she looks just fine. She was a little bit nervous before. We tried to get her to come in with a toy, but now we're gonna use chicken and see if that motivates her to want to come in. Yep, and keep that, keep it coming. You know what I mean? I mean, this is a huge victory right here. She's voluntarily staying in the water. Now we are creating that good association by giving her chicken. I, I have a feeling that she's gonna not care about the chicken at all once she gets used to the water. This is a good way to introduce them to it. Good yes, girl. and give her some support. Hold her so she knows you've got her. That was a wonderful moment right there. We'll make her feel safe. That's what we're trying to do with this. Look at that, that's great. You can kind of hold her while she's underwater a bit if you'd like. That way she becomes a bit more desensitized. If you feel the moment is right, let go of her a little bit and then immediately pick her back up. There's that handle, I love that handle. Yep, if you wanna let her out, that's cool too. Huge victory, wonderful. Good job, June. You have to be content with little victories like this. That's wonderful. That would be a whole training session. But I think we have some momentum here, so let's keep going. June seems to be pretty comfortable swimming around a little bit with the life vest on, so I think the next step here is to see if she's comfortable swimming around the pool without it. Uh, dogs do know how to swim naturally, so that shouldn't be an issue, but we wanna make sure that we're there to support them. Remember, if your dog doesn't totally love just jumping in the pool, it's not a terrible idea to bring them in with you, and it is normal for them to experience a little bit of anxiety there, but you wanna really minimize that and create a good association with it. Letting your dog get some exercise before you get them in the pool is a good idea. That's a good way to reduce anxiety too. I wanna to try a little exercise right now and Bree, if you're comfortable with it, I would love your help. Sure. Since June's getting a little bit more comfortable with the water now, it makes sense for Bree to hold June and have Josh call June and see if she'll swim to him. That would be pretty awesome. Look at that. Look at her go! Click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Does your dog like to swim? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash thezachgeorge. I'll have a link in the description. Support our sponsor, petflow.com. They are awesome and they make it possible for us to do a lot as well as our Patreon supporters. Patreon.com slash Zach George. Your small monthly contributions of two, five, ten dollars a month or whatever you can afford help us do much more in the dog training world. Josh, you guys did awesome, man. Really good work. Thank you. Good job. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. June and Josh were just so fun to work with. Make sure you subscribe and check out these other videos too. Is your dog a little bit more reserved or shy? Lucy the Chihuahua and I will help you resolve this. Do you want help getting your dog to love taking a bath? Check out Piper the Aussie. If you don't know how to clicker train a dog and you have a new dog, you'll definitely want to check out Teddy. 
Uh, if your dog is nervous of strangers, especially men, watch Millie overcome her reluctance. I'll give you a lot of tips in that video that will help you out. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a really, really good one. We're going to demystify a lot of the stereotypes and myths in dog training. You're definitely not going to want to miss that.